There comes a place and a time in every chef's career where you have to ask yourself this question of who am I? What am I about? And for me, the biggest thing that led me to Nixta was tacos. My food crosses cultures and generations, with the main focal point being corn. I spent some time in Mexico. I remember peeling back husk of corn that revealed colors that were foreign to me. If you can bring this corn to the United States, somehow make tortillas with this, and introduce this to people, I feel like you'll have something truly special on your hands. Receiving the news of getting nominated for a James Beard on my grandmother's birthday, knowing she had just passed away, I felt like she was looking over me. I think she was very proud to see what we had created. I think it's really crucial to be able to understand your history. When you're cooking food that's so personal like this, to really be able to understand where you're from. So I turned to Ancestry. Having those connecting dots helps give a light to who I am. So we're just gonna be looking at DNA origins. 56% Mexican. What? Coming from Bajio, oh San Luis Potosí, Tamaulipas. Tamaulipas? Who's yeah. from there? Like your side, dad? My side, both sides. Oh. Both are from San Luis. Have you ever seen this from my abuelita? It's her baptism. Oh, I knew who the grandparents were, but I never seen that. This is so cool. I know. Look how far this family tree goes, nine generations deep. Castillo Rivera, that's your grandma. Mm -hmm. That's your grandpa, Rodrigo's. So oh. that's uh, Emilia and Domingo. Great, great, great grandparents. Emilia mm -hmm. Velasquez. Job was a molendera? What does that yeah. mean? Grinder, like um, next tamal. Wow, OK, so. This has been in our lineage at least 100 plus years. That oh, is crazy. Knowing that my great, great, great grandmother was in the corn business over 150 years ago and to still be able to carry on that legacy, which is essentially a family tradition now at this point, and honor it in such a way that's been successful, it's just a really beautiful thing. The people that inspired me was the matriarchs of my family. Seeing my grandmothers, seeing my aunts, seeing my mom, and everyone else in between, and how recipes evolve and how things change as history has gone on. Recipes are sometimes those relics to the past that really connects everything. Grandma, her best dish was the gorditas. And raja. Mm -hmm. That's the rajas we still use at the restaurant to this day. I remember the way you taught me how to make them. I'll never yeah. forget. Making the enchilada potosina, you know, that's a dish that's so regionally specific to one town in one city in the state of San Luis Potosí, Mexico. This is a dish that's hundreds of years old and a family tradition. Sourcing beans specifically from San Luis Potosí, Mexico. The cheese that we use, we get from a town in San Luis Potosí. That's how I feel like I'm able to transport you to my culture by you having that little bite. Grandma was so proud of you, telling everybody, oh, I gotta cook with my grandson. <laughs> she blessed the restaurant. Oh, yeah. See, that that's was, why you're so, being so blessed. That was the key. To find out today, that I come from a lineage of family that has been grinding corn for over 150 years. This makes me want to dive into a deeper kind of rabbit hole of food of my ancestors. Like, what were they cooking? I'm so happy to have the most wonderful people that I love most here at this table. Finding out some really special news about our family today makes this meal even more meaningful. From Amelia to my abuelitas and to the ladies I love most here tonight, salucita to y'all. Salita! My great, great, great grandmother, not only ground corn, she did it for a living. She was an OG Molinera doing it in the 1800s. We're literally oh, eating great. history with this little pocket right here. 150 years, it was very difficult. It was a tough business. I'm surprised for me, you know, because that, what do you say, like a humble job to feed into the to the community. Yeah, she was Girl, nourishing or, people. Was she was difficult. nourishing her community. Doing it, and now we're continuing that tradition in 2022. But we're feeding the masses now. It makes me very proud to be able to hold on to such an ancestral technique that is so old. 
go to where you're from and eat the food. You'll learn so much about your culture. You'll learn about the people. You'll learn the stories that made that food. To be able to pass down something like that, this beautiful amalgamation of history and everything on a tortilla, I hope to make all the people that have done it before me really proud.